Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with the Bulldog men's and women's golf teams and joined by head coach Kyle Wittenbach. Coach, uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Certainly it's uh, been a, a long season uh, here as you head into the, the home stretch here. Uh, started in the fall and into the spring. Uh, just talk about how your first year here at Ferris State has went. Yeah, golf's one of those strange sports where you have a dual season. So you play half of your season in September, October, and the other half in, in March, April, May mostly. So. We get a little bit of downtime in the winter, but when we come back from the spring, or I'm sorry, from the winter, um, the winter break, then it's all into the indoor practice and getting ready to, to jump outside and take those long trips down south in the spring to, to travel. But the first year's gone really well. Um, both teams played great in the fall. We had some really good success, some good victories. I don't, unfortunately don't have as many trophies <laughs> to display as I did that first time I visited you. But um, the men's team hasn't been firing, you know, as well as they did, obviously it's kind of hard to to set a record pace like they did in the in the fall. But they're playing well. Uh, we had a, a dual match this past weekend with my former team, Northern Michigan. They came down and and played at our home course at Khaki Golf Club, and um, that was a really good uh, good finish for them. They played the best round of the entire year, uh, which is perfect timing right before we head into or the biggest tournament of the year, our Glaic Championship. We talk about uh, this past weekend uh, hosting Northern Michigan in a dual match, uh, kind of a unique format here that you don't normally play during the year. Yeah, it was really interesting. So it was fun as well because after in the national championship, there's 20 teams that, that qualify for the national championship. And, and after a couple rounds of stroke play, they narrow it down to eight. So the top eight teams then play in this medal match play format. And that's how they do it in Division One, and that's how they've started to do it in Division Two the last couple of years. And that is different than a regular match play format where you play whole matches, right? So if you take a 10 on the first hole and a four on the first, well, it's only, you're only one up on that match. Um, this is an 18 hole match. So it's based on total strokes over 18 holes versus one opponent. And then each match gives you a point for the team. So we did, a, the only thing we changed is we did eight versus eight instead of five versus five. That way we could get uh, all of our players involved and, and get a little deeper run into it. But it was awesome, we loved it. Who had a, a nice weekend for you in terms of some of the individual scores? Uh, our best round was in the final round. We had uh, Ben Cook shot a, a three under, won his match, and Jack shot Jack Weller shot a seven under bogey free 65 to, to solidify his match by six shots. So um, great momentum heading into the GLIACs, like, like I said. You mentioned the GLIAC championships uh, coming up this weekend, Nashport, Ohio. Uh, first time uh, here in, in some time that the men and women have uh, went at the same time playing in the conference tournament. Yeah, so a few of the coaches in last year's conference championship were talking about, you know, since there are so many coaches now that, that are the head coaches of both men's and women's programs, that why don't we have try to have them at the same site? And so the men played at this course, it used to be called Longerberger, they've changed it to the Virtues. So they've played at the Virtues before, they played there last year and said, well, let's bring, bring it back here. It's got a good facility, good range. The course is going to be perfect for both. So. Um, we're going to try it out, and it's going to be great for coaches like me and a lot of the other coaches in the conference who can have both of their teams there at the same time, and they don't have to miss one of the tournaments, you know, which sometimes you have to flip-flop and choose, but this is, this is good for everyone. Talk about the, the quality of competition, your expectations, uh, maybe going into the conference tournament. Well, the expectations are um, a little different for each program. So for the women, we just want to really go out there and compete as best we can. Um, they've been really progressing well over the over the winter. Um, we've got some new faces in the lineup, so just to get them a lot of experience, kind of see what that big stage is like. Some of them haven't been to a conference championship before, which it's just run, I guess, at a higher level, and it, it just feels bigger. As soon as you step on the, on, the, on the host site, it's just so much different. So that'll be a good experience for them, and so we just want to give them that. And then the men, the expe expectation is to win, for sure. I mean, we're just going to go there and and bring our best game, especially like I said, with that momentum we gained from this past weekend at home, and and just give it our best shot. The fall, obviously, uh, a great season uh, on the men's side. Uh, had a top 20 national ranking uh, here this year. Talk about uh, where you go from here, building a program, uh, obviously to compete at the highest level. Uh, well, we've got a couple kids that you know coming in, and I don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about that <laughs> on here, but they're going to really build the program, and, and they're the kind of kids that um, that for me, are just going to be really valuable to the program in terms of work ethic and their attitudes are really, really good. And they can play some golf. We've had some 65s from some of our recruits, and it's always good to see those kids coming in that can take it deep and see um, 
what they can do when they come in because that first year is always a little bit of a, a test year, but um, big things expected from those kids coming in. Your men's team ranked uh, fifth in the region right now. Uh, talk about uh, where you go from the conference championships and, and hopefully a, a trip to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, so they were number one in the region, solid after the fall, um, and now we're fifth. And we talked about this whole spring, where we're ranked in the region doesn't really matter because as long as we're in the top 10, because the top 10 are the teams that qualify for the NCAA regional. So even though, like I said, we weren't playing that well throughout the spring at the beginning, doesn't matter as long as we peak in that, in that one tournament that matters the most, right? So in two weeks in Nebraska, we head down to um, the NCAA regional, or fly over to the NCAA <laughs> regional. Um, that'll be the one that, that gets us into the national championship. And out of that tournament, four of the top, 20 teams there get to qualify for that tournament. So we got to play well because the top 10 teams from our region play against the top 10 teams from the Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri area, and those kids can play too. So we got to bring our best. Certainly, uh, you talked about the, the progress that's been made. Uh, been a, a long spring here in terms of some of the weather. How do you, how do you combat that uh, here? Obviously, a lot of tournaments uh, down south in, in Ohio this spring. Yeah, and the weather, even when you, the further south you go, you think it's going to be better. And the weather in the spring is always challenging no matter what. So um, both programs have played in Kentucky, and, and the men have played in Tennessee, and, and it's hit or miss. I mean, you always expect at least one day of rain, at least one day of wind, and maybe at least one or two days of cold. So. Even though it's March, it's you know we had days in the 30s and low 40s in Kentucky, so um, you just expect it and prepare for it, and then when you get there, you're just going to do your best and battle through it. Finally, here, uh, what does it take to go to the conference championships this week and come back uh, with, with some high finishes? All we need is to just play our game and, and just carry carry through that confidence that we gained from this past weekend. Well, Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs. Uh, congratulations on a great year so far, and uh, best of luck here at the GLIAC championships. Cool. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.